still down from here. I think this is supposed to be 2011-12, I was a postdoc in Belgium. Uh, and uh, at that time, they asked me to give a research vision um, of what I want to do for the future. Uh, at that point, I was actually still uh, in academia, and so I thought I would become a professor and all those things, so it was to, to, to lay out uh, a plan for that. And, and I gave a talk called Machine Learning for Africa. In fact, in today's lecture at MLSS, that was actually mentioned by Bettina, and she was in that very first audience. And uh, the, the, the feedback I then got from everyone was that um, this sounds really good, the idea of machine learning for Africa, but just don't do it in academia, do it in real life, since, since, since we have to get practical applications in real life. And uh, when I came back, then I uh, went to my long-term colleague and friend, and, and, and we started the idea then of starting Prolexis. So that was the, the, the history of where it comes from, very much born out of I guess being an academic, like the field of machine learning, I always make the statement uh, like Martin Luther. Martin Luther said, I'm here because it cannot be otherwise. I, I, I'm, I'm translating it now, uh, but, but, but it means that. So, so I guess I don't see myself as this typical entrepreneur going out to just make the one company after the other, but it was more a case of someone must do machine learning, must solve real problems here in Africa. And that is why the company was then, was then started. Sometime at the beginning of, of, of last year, we, we started discussions again. I said we must have this thing here in Africa, and uh, um, this time it was easier. We've had the company, we've had a very good partnership then with Capitec, and uh, they said that, that they will underwrite it, um, and, and we could also put down some 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 uh, of the funding to ensure that that if no one comes up at least that we will pay all the expenses. Of course, one realizes that everyone for these kind of events will turn out, but you need some funding to start that. And then behind the scenes, literally what was happening is, is once we get it going, we got clearance then from the MLS custodian in, in Germany, Bernard Schokop and their team, and we literally start uh, um, arranging that. The interesting thing is, 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 is to keep costs down. There was actually a second conference called DALI, um, which, which many of the speakers in the first work at, at attended. And then Banach said that to keep our costs down, they will make, uh, uh, Dali makes uh, happen also in, 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 um, in South Africa. And then we don't have to cover the cost of flying the people from Europe and the States in, since they would in any case visit Dali. And so we've actually been arranging two conferences at the same time. Uh, so we've done Dali in George uh, uh, three or four days before MLSS started in Stellenbosch, and then we've started MLSS. On the, on the behind the scenes thing, of course, was to get the speakers going, to get the right uh, inv uh, invitations out, to get the, the participants going. Uh, there, at least, uh, Ben, uh, Lizette and Ennio Marie have been working uh, quite a lot on this. And from Pelexis' time, if you think of it, Ben and, and, and Lizette actually spent, um, I would say, the last two months of the year, almost 100% their time on actually arranging this and to make sure that this thing is, is running smoothly. But I think there were, there were many good things we've had. The, the conference dinner we've had, at the poster session, we've had also some uh, uh, some drinks and, and some good food to eat. And, uh, there's happening tonight, the farewell dinner, and um, no one was expecting this, and we were really happy that, that this could happen. Of course, we're grateful to our to our sponsors, the other sponsors as well. Um, with all the contributions, we were able to just make an, an, an opportunity for all these people to, to, to meet and greet and and one could say that the social event is 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 oh it's just social you take people out they deserve to rest and and, and have fun but that's not entirely true there's also a, 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 another motivation for a social event and that is where network forms since a network form when you start in a, over a glass of wine start having a discussion and 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 and, and ask people and when you form those kind of relationships, that's the kind of things that will lead to exciting new work in the future or, or, or collaboration that is so needed in this world. So, so yes, we do the, uh, the, the events for the, for the fun part and to enjoy this, but there is actually a, a, a real benefit also from this by, by forming the right relationships. 
class areas of explanations. One kind of, and two of those explanations are called causal explanations. You either get causal explanations or causal mechanisms. Then you have the highlights. Um, were, I think the, the, the first one is, of course, that the event actually took place, that we got really top notch speakers from all over the world. I was also very happy with the diversity of the audience. Um, the talks in itself were all great. And then I guess if, we, if I go to personal highlights um, on the actual uh, talks that were presented, I, I think that, that causality is a very important thing in machine learning. And um, I got the feeling that, 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 that we selected some people to present talks on that. Of course, that was planned initially. But I also had the feeling that, that, that the audience started realizing that this is an important concept. It's an important thing that machine learning people should start thinking about, um, start reading about. It's not something that is on the, on, the, on, the, um, on the edges. It is important and then we must work on that. So that is for me, in a sense, the, 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 the technical thing that, 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 that I like the most and the happiest about. But of course, I learned a lot with many of the, all the other talks were, were equally interesting. But, but I, I guess that, that was my personal interest. No, we really enjoyed it. And we had fantastic speakers. And, yeah, so, and we learned a lot. So even, even old guys like me learned a lot. So, yeah, so and just hard to keep up with all the, the, the new ideas from the youngsters. Okay. Um, so I'm from the CSIR um, in Pretoria, based in Pretoria. I work mainly in natural language processing. And so my favorite talk was obviously when Sharon Goldwater was speaking about her automatic um, speech recognition going directly to a different language. So that was really exciting. Oh, the weeks have been amazing. A lot of work, but interesting, like inspiration. And I think this is a way to go and to change the next generations to come. I've learned so much. I met so many smart people. There are so many people that are working on data science that I, and I appreciate the opportunity so much to get in touch with them and talk to them. So um, it was really nice two weeks. Also, I enjoyed being in South Africa, which was the greatest of experience of all, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I think meeting so many people from all over the world was, it was quite interesting. Of course, you get the talk, you don't absorb everything because there's so many technical things coming up, but I think it was a very nice way of getting exposed to like these diversity things and, and the whole field. And then if you find your interest, go probably dig deeper. Otherwise, it was good, the food was good, the people and the social aspect was good. Yeah, the wine at least as well. <laughs> great time. I've been to many summer schools, but this was definitely the greatest location. It was extremely uh, difficult behind the scenes, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, there were days that I wanted to throw the computer through the window, but because of the person I am, I did not, and I just go on as per normal, but it was really, it was awesome. I think I will have withdrawal syn uh, syndrome as from next week or maybe on Saturday because I really actually got attached to everybody that came um, and uh, it will be a big challenge to get back to home <laughs> and to normal life again <laughs> but it was, a, it was a good experience. I will do it again. Our vision was to be um, the largest machine learning company in South Africa and we wanted to be respected worldwide. And uh, we want to continue to drive that mission. Is, is uh, vision is to, to to make sure that we that we do real proper machine learning, do good work, attract the right talent, but also serve our clients well, and that we actually solve real problems. Think about it, machine learning for Africa. It is as whole uh, the, the whole concept is true. It's not just machine learning. It's not just Africa. We do those two things together here in Africa and solve real problems. And, and, and that is what we will continue to do and, and, and hopefully also in the long run make the lives of, 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 of people and, and, and our clients better and happier.